It's nature's zombie apocalypse. The apocalypse in my eyes. Yeah, so uh, we uh, are taking a break from our usual schedule, <laughs> playing Odalis all the time. So I played Nature's Zombie Apocalypse. The uh, Nature's Zombie Apocalypse guys gave me a, a Steam key when I promised to let's play their game, and uh, I'm gonna have a go. Let's make sure it's yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good. And random thing, I do like the uh, the menus in this. I'm a bit of a menu connoisseur, and uh, it's it's not easy to make a good UI that works, and particularly with all these different elements in the game. Anyway, as you can see, it's pretty much animals versus the zombies. So, in fact, oh man, I would rather the controls reversed for this. Like when I go right, I want the gorilla to go left, but it, it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, it's cool. You've got like this weird bipedal elephant thing, a duck, a bear, some kind of iguana, lizard thing? I don't really know my lizards. I don't live, they don't have many lizards in the UK. A lion, the king of the jungle himself, a weirdly alien yet graceful giraffe, and a sloth who uh, really ought to be slower than he is, I think. Are they able to have bursts of speed if it comes to it. Is that how sloths work? I don't know. I don't have many slots in the UK either, but you know, I think I'll be duck today. Now the cool thing is they've got a, they've got a good selection of, of things. Like look, now, now I'm a duck <coughs> wearing some sunglasses. I mean, how nice is that? And uh, <coughs> the pigs with the balloons are also great. We'll, we'll see those later. Probably. Now let's see. There's a whole bunch of... Uh, Weapons and things, where the chainsaw is kind of overpowered. I think it's great. The bazooka, I found, is kind of awkward. You just blow yourself up. Anyway, let's get on. You probably just want to see me kill zombies, don't you? If that's what you're waiting for, let's just get some of the best weapons and rock and roll. I don't quite actually. I don't quite understand what resolution this game is at because, like, some stuff goes off the screen. I don't really get it at all. Yeah, and then there it goes again. Now I want to do survival in the streets. I own these streets. You know, where I grew up, they didn't even really have streets. I don't know nothing about streets, really. For some reason my duck is called Salathia. I'm not sure how they come up with these names. I'm not sure if the duck is a different jump, or it just sort of looks like it, because the duck seems to glide. Yeah, so the, the chainsaw is completely overpowered. You just run around and blah, 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 blah. Just uh, don't waste your uh, fuel and, and you're good, pretty much. Look at that, just smash. But really, I'm being a bit weird. I'm playing this game single player and I should be playing it in, in multiplayer, but uh, I've got no one to play with today. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Ah, it's the Grey Void! The Grey Void! The fat zombies die. I like the little physicsiness of this. What was I going to talk about there? Um, yo, know, I just got back from Insomnia 59. Been a major couple of days. I got so many business cards and did so many things and tweeted so much stuff. And uh, I've, I've come back with a whole bunch of new ideas about what to do with Super Space Slayer 2. So uh, things are gonna things are gonna be action packed around here. You, you come back from like three days of non-stop work for somehow more work than when you started. It's weird. Let me let me switch my gun. There we there we go. I've forgotten the controls. We're playing Deadly Premonition too much. Switch guns the different key. I would actually. I would say it feels kind of floppy. This game, I don't know. Like I reckon they could tune up the feeling a bit. I feel like they're, they're just. You know how it is with these things. Just frame by frame nuances can make a lot of difference there in the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. I know, and, uh, in the long run, the guys who are making this are planning on uh, making some kind of zombie-killing campaign mode as well. So it's. It's gotten good multiplayer and it's good for like jumping in and hanging out with your mates and killing zombies, but also I think they're gonna make some kind of campaign just because why 
going on. Oh, look at that. That's a nice physics reaction. I believe that's the unity at work there. Nagatomedo! Somehow the music reminds me a little bit of Gangster's Paradise. You know, um, was, it, was it Coolio? Was that a Coolio song? Was Coolio a thing? I wasn't really paying much attention back in the 90s, to be honest. I was a child at the time. Go AKs. You always know where you are with AKs. Uh, Russian-made machine guns, I believe. Then a lot of things playing back against Solid 2. About AKs and M4s and so on. Oh, oh dear, yes. And it, it's quite smartly designed too. It point, points you to the ammunition when you're out of ammunition and stuff. And they seem to have they've gotten most of the way, the way there, I think. I guess it could feel more crisp somehow. It feels sort of floppy to me, or is that not any part of it? I don't know. Lunch, Lady Doris. Do we even use this rolling pins anymore? I, I guess some people do. I just not much to cook myself. I guess I don't. I normally have way much more, more trouble with her. I guess the uh, AK was uh, a good thing to back away from her with. Oh, it'd be cool if you could blow up the cars and stuff. I mean, it's, it's nice that... Yeah, there's a few things they could add, I think, here. To, I hope they're going to be gradually improving things as well. I know it's in early access now. Stuff like if I jump on the car, it could react, or... In fact, speaking of the jumps as well, I think it, the, the... The way their jumps work varies between the different animal characters, I think, but... Uh, I reckon they should uh, fine-tune the jumps a bit. I, mean, I say this about pretty much everybody who has a jump in their game. But just go and look at Mario's jump and maybe Bayonetta's jump, because that felt really good too. Uh, just, just look at all the numbers for that and get the jumps feeling as good as they can feel. That matters too. Rock and roll! Duck a good on! Oh, that's nice. This is something ducks can do, apparently, if they get uh, angry enough. I guess this guy's a, a mallard, because the uh, the lady ducks are really boring looking, aren't they? They're all kind of brown. In, uh, with ducks, it's the the men who are sexy and colourful. It, it goes it goes back and forth with humans, I think. I mean, sometimes I don't know, in like ancient Greece, it was the, the men who were sexy, and maybe in the 70s a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> With ducks, it, it's, it's the men who are the cool, colourful ones. If you're a male duck, like, what do you look for in a, a lady duck? Like, do you want do you want a nice, boring-looking lady? Is that how it works? Do, do they go for the most boring-looking duck they can find, and do they think that's sexy? I don't know. If you kind of think of, I know, I was, I was about to say I don't know very much about ducks, but actually. I do know some things about ducks that made their way across the internet, and uh, let me tell you, it's, it's just not pleasant, it's not nice. I hear the duck's dicks are a, a strange and nasty shape. They're, they're cruel and ruthless, basically. Let's just look at some duck facts, if you uh, <laughs> want to know the uh, terrible facts about nature's greatest villain, the duck. So uh, don't, don't mess with ducks. Like a lot of animals. I mean, it's you know, it's ruthless out there in nature. So a lot of animals are uh, ruthless. I know pelicans eat their parents' blood and feathers sometimes or something when they're little. And they're kind of cannibals. Like they're cannibals by nature. And <laughs> don't mess with animals. They are the beast inside. Ah, oh, damn. I keep not. I'm not getting the hang of uh, when my whoa. That sure has a lot of zombies. What if I... I don't know how to aim my grenade properly. That little b <coughs> bus advert's there again. The zombies are coming. They sure as heck are. Grenade! Oh my days, that was beautiful. Oh, that's pretty good too. I guess the, uh, the rage moves. get better as you uh, get further into the ways, I think. Keep 
killing lads. Oh dear. Yeah, I think the uh, the bosses are. God damn. Yeah, the bosses stop gratefully for you uh, when you're not on the ground. It's me, Pennywise the Clown. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Apparently, clowns were uh, always supposed to be scary. Like that, they were. There was some comedian in the 1600s or something who thought that what his comedy act needed was fear, and I guess it caught on because scary clown man is is kind of a thing still. I don't like having to aim the grenade. They, I don't quite understand how it works. Is this a goldfish bomb or something? Ah, uh, no, no, duck, get up, get up, no. Uh. Okay, I, I'm gonna prioritize finding some uh, some healing items if I can. I swear they're all after me and. Uh, I yet live! I yet live! Yeah, thanks to Enter the Gungeon and Dark Souls, actually, that any game that doesn't have a, uh, a poison meter that fills up when you're standing in poison kind of disappoints me now. Whoa, 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 get, oh, it's a real combo there, then they knock you down, and then, uh, Oh. I was complaining about the rocket launcher earlier, but actually now that I'm using it properly without being at too close range, I, uh... Very much appreciate it. Do I have a no? No, I'm no the buttons. Oh, oh no, my duck! He died. Yeah, see, so what I, I don't really understand how the window size of this game works. Oh well, let's. Uh, I'm pretty sure Falafia was the uh, most valuable player because uh, Falafia was the only player. Killed a lot of zombies. Killed at least 22 zombies, according to what I can see on screen here. Probably more. And that is uh, my first stab at nature's zombie apocalypse. I'll probably have another go at that later, show you some more guns and animals, and, and there is a king crown you can wear. I'll, I'll come back to this later. That for now is it. I'll see you all on the next Ken Show.